hello friends welcome to this video so in this video I will basically talk about a new tool that I added on my website freemediatools.com so it is essentially a video editor where you can actually perform video trimming operations or you can cut your videos using a certain time uh, you can provide the starting time and the ending time so this is actually the application that I developed inside react shares which is actually using ffmpg open source library webassembly to actually execute ffmpg in the browser so this is the actual interface which looks like this so you can refresh go to my website free media tool slash video cutter you can just uh, uh, use the live demo so this is actually the application here you need to choose the video file all extensions are supported mp4 avi mov all extensions are supported we need to simply choose the file just go to the folder and uh, simply choose the file whichever file that you want to choose so you can see that as i choose the file right here and uh, now we have two sliders right right there which makes it very much easy to actually select the starting time and the ending time and here you can play the video file as well in the video player you can see that you can just see the video is playing so in the video player now coming back to the starting trimming and ending trimmer these are both the sliders so let's suppose i want to trim the portion between the 0 0.5 second to this ending slider can't go this value can't be lower than this value so automatically this is disabled so now you need to select the ending time let's suppose i want to cut this portion from 5 second to 9 second in this 14 second video so if i click the trim video option ffmpg webassembly will actually cut this video will trim this portion and it's, it will actually show the video file with live preview you can just play the file with the live preview right here and then you can simply click these three dots and click on the download button to actually download the video file on side your local machine now you can play this video file you can see that so it has successfully trimmed the video guys so in this way you can actually take any video for example it can be as long as possible the size is not a restriction right here you can take as much restriction uh, long video as you want to you can see it's a 21 second video so we can simply cut any portion that we want let's suppose 8 to 14 click on trim video you can see it has trimmed the portion which is 0 6 seconds from 8 second to 14 second so it is all doing its processing in the background guys ffmpg webassembly it's very fast and it takes uh, not so much time right is so this actually happens in the browser no need to third party install any third party software you can go to my website right here live is there the link is given in the description of the live stream and uh, you can the maximum size limit is 2 gb guys if you just type here ffmpg maximum file size on google it will tell you that uh, you can upload up to 2 gigabyte of video at a time so your video file needs to be less than or equal to 2 GB so to actually processing inside FFmpg WebAssembly at this moment of time FFmpg WebAssembly can handle up to 2 GB of video so just keep in mind and actually uh, do this process so I basically coded this project inside react shares guys using FFmpg WebAssembly library if you are interested the link is given in the description of the video so you can basically trim any portion right here using the ending slider and the just click the trim portion and you could trim so the link is given you can directly purchase it you will get an actual zip file uh, on the product page you will find a live demo option where you can click the live demo and just go to my website and first of all use this product before purchasing it it's a tool based website using react shares using an ffmpg web assembly now this is a overall project right here if you go to it you will automatically get the zip file after you make the payment from google drive and once you extract the zip file it's very simple i am running it on local host you just need to write npm run start to actually start this react shares application at local host it will start this application on local host 3000 it is starting the development server so now you can see it is running it on localhost 3000 and for deploying 
this application it's very simple you need to run the command npm run build you can see and now it has successfully started this application and uh, now we just need to select the video file trim video and now you can see that the speed is very fast guys it instantly cut or trim the portion whatever you select using the slider that's a very good thing about it so if you try this application by going to my website you will see what I'm talking about it's a very good fast application in coded inside reactions and uh, if I go to the package.json file you will see that we are actually using the ffmpg webassembly library you can see these two packages are coming from ffmpg webassembly library and we are using react chairs latest version which is 18 at the time of recording this video it is compatible with the older versions as well or with, with the future versions as well so no need to worry about whether it will be compatible with the older versions or the latest version it will be compatible with all the versions you just need to purchase it by going to the description of the video this will be a great project if you are basically a student or if you are looking for a job you can basically purchase it and you will get full commercial right once you purchase it you will have this code you can modify it you can deploy this on side your website and earn money as well so it's a great starting point to learn ffmpg webassembly how i developed this application and uh, let me coming back to the code right here and uh, you can if you want to deploy this application onto a real domain name how we can do that there is a build command right here if you see that in the script section you can run this build command by going to the command line so just type this build command npm run build so what it will do it will actually create this build folder guys so if i just delete this build folder for now so if you just run this build command npm run build so now in the left hand side you will see a build folder will get created automatically so it will bundle all this react chairs code into a application so that you can deploy it you can see that a build folder has been created and now you can deploy this onto a very local hosting plan shared hosting plan as well these are all the static assets css minified javascript minified this is the overall react chase project and this is a minified code that you want to deploy it onto a real domain name so that we are doing it inside our own website which is free media tools video cutter editor so you can see that so in this way you can deploy this application onto a real domain name coming back to the code this is our app.js you will see this is actual domain uh, uh, file size limit is 2 gigabyte so when you open the application you see this right here file size in the footer section and this is a base component that we are using which is video trim so it is coded inside react.js you will see that javascript so we are using all the concepts here of uh, react chase hooks to actually hold the state of the application and here basically guys we are actually doing it uh, we are trimming the video first of all reading it writing it and then dash 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 ss we are getting the starting time and this is the ending time we are cutting it and then we are not re-encoding the video that's important if you are re-encoding the video it will take a lot of time but we are just cutting the video and not re-encoding or compressing the video and this is actual flag which is required for this which is dash c copy so output file name is out.mp4 and then we are setting the progress bar to 100% when it is done and then we are reading this file which is output file out.mp4 and then we are simply showing this file output file whenever it is done into a video player by instantiating a new instance of blob which is data.buffer and after that video slash mp4 but this is actually the logic of it guys whenever you click the button here this processing gets happen set processing to true we load the ffmpg webassembly library by using await.ffmpg load method then we write the file here into the memory and then we cut the video right in the memory itself and uh, after that we show the output video in the video player so this is actually the logic which is happening right here apart from that it's a very huge application if you see we have various css code video input code as well slider index or js it's a overall project so i will definitely suggest you to purchase it the link is given so whenever you click the choose button you will see that the video gets loaded right here and whenever you change these sliders 
so you can basically select whichever portion that you want to cut or trim and this is actually the trim video button as you click this button the processing happens in the background and your video is successfully trimmed and cut you will see if you just open the console it is doing its job right here FFmpg WebAssembly library it is reading the file writing the file and cutting the file using the FFmpg commands so if you are interested guys the link is given in the description and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next live stream until then thank you very much